Tupa. Hotel. Tupa pub. Uh -huh. We got in here about one o'clock. So, yeah. Had a couple beers, got a room. Which is pretty cool. And we're heading off to um Louth today. The roads up to date have been really good. Apparently they're gonna be really shit today, we'll see. We were advised by the locals to go the western side of the river because um, most of the locals use the western side, they know where all the big holes are. So we just got to follow the locals' tracks and we're bright. Some of the holes are big enough to, to lose posties in, apparently, so we'll see. Two, uh, three motorcyclists got airlifted out of here just last week. Hit, must have hit, must have hit the pole, those. Dust holes, bull, bull, dust bull dust holes at speed, broken neck, ribs, well, all that sort of stuff. So, we don't want to do that. But we'll show you the room. <coughs> Light is on. Very basic, but clean and um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We've got some photos of the pub. Didn't get any video, nothing worked last night. But, um, all right, stay tuned. It's gonna be cold today, it's a bit brisky. Mm. Yeah, will be. It's a bit cool, a bit cool on the fingers. Just about ready to pack up, just about finished packing up, and we're gonna be on our way. Mm. All right, check this out. Oh, I'll show you the tilt the pub. As far as Outback pubs go, this is right up there. Oh, look at the moon. Massive. The sun's just coming up. Okay. Just down this lake, it's not massive, but it's pretty big here. Christy's uh, being the avid bird watcher. Ooh. Spooked the pelicans. She's taking photos of the pelicans. Huge expanse of water and all these pelicans just gracefully flying around a foot off the surface of the water it's mad and the temptation is just to fly straight past no i haven't got time which we probably we do we don't i don't know we still got another 90k to go just to or to get into i think we said mataranka then yeah, um what the fuck is it whatever it is we got um but i mean then you just got to stop yeah so it's Take the 10 minutes. She usually turns into half an hour, but 10 minutes. Here we go. Taking photos and we're back on the road again soon. We wanted a challenge and I think we've got one. <laughs> Thank you. 
get no AZ in the table drive. Hunters, we've um, made it to Louth. Louth? Yeah, made, made it to Louth. Yep. It was a uh, pretty gruelling day in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> I've nearly bloody broke my ankle again. Nearly a few stacks. Christy nearly stacked it a few times. Yeah. We, we, both of us, we struggled. Yeah. But um, and then I changed the tyre pressure and it all got easy. <laughs> and then about 5k down the road. No more sand. No more sand. <laughs> or gravel. Oh. Uh, should have done it this morning. Anyway, Thanks. we're here. Thanks, Dan. No worries. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we're here. Got our little TED site. Look at this place. A bit worried about that huge branch broken off. <laughs> but we haven't got any of them above us. No. Have riverside views, people. Look at that. And one good thing is we cannot see any of those nests. And those frickin' birds that make a racket and shit all over your tent all night. So, the next cab off the rank is we're going to uh, set up the camp, have a bit of a lunch, and then we're working out with what's for dinner. And I'm thinking we've got Mexican rice, or couscous, or lamb chops over at, over at the, uh, at the Shindy Inn pub. <laughs> I think a pint of beer and some lamb chops is going to be better than couscous. Better than couscous. All right, catch you later. Here we are in the uh, Louth campground. Dawn. It's freezing. How cold is it, Christy? Oh, God. <laughs> it's four degrees. It's four degrees. Christy's battling to go to the toilet. It's too cold. We're snapping our fingers. I'm getting there. But, oh, beautiful little spot. So we're glad it hasn't been this cold up to now. Yeah. Shit, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a battle today. Keeping the fingers warm. See how we go. How's this for cool? How's this for a cool mailbox? This is a what they call a donkey and it's a, a hot water boiler. There's a two there's a water jacket, like two layers, and there's a fire inside it that heats the water up and the water comes up the pipe. They've used it for a uh, letterbox. Large parcels, please use the door at the back of the marble. Yeah, get in here. So I've got a big parcel get around here. 
Oh, and you can see the gap. See the gap where the water water is. The fire's on the inside and the water's in between. Pretty cool design. Yeah, Kwandong Station. That's how we got our water. Hot water. And they're all these things are like just about at every station entrance. There must be must be thousands of them throughout the country. Yeah, a little valve. Pretty cool. And they're all riveted together, so some old school steam, because these are under immense pressure. They're a proper boiler. Big rivets holding the plates together. I'm a boiler maker, but this is what original boilers would have boiler makers would have made. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. We've been riding for an hour. Uh, Goat dress there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everything we better should, should take some photos of these goats. They're everywhere. Unbelievable. The whole the, everywhere you look there's goats. Pretty good resource, isn't it? A lot of people are making money out of it now. But um it's funny how you you get used to your bike and how and how it sounds. We started this morning that just sort of not going that long. I sort of throttled open and it made this real throaty sound. So I looked around, looked at the exhaust, I checked it all out. Turned out, it was this little guy here falling off like that. So it wasn't breathing through the rack. <clears throat> so that should be, should have a something in there to hold that up but it's, it's just sort of been holding there oh shit she nearly fell over yeah so it's not always something major something something simple which is good hmm. fingers are thawing out how are your fingers christy my thumb i can't feel my thumb and my little finger <laughs> yeah thumb and your little finger lucky yeah. we don't pick up things like this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, in your camera. He's gay, he don't care. He's waiting. He's waiting for his dick. People, oh, well people, it's finally <laughs> happened. It's finally happened. I've lost stuff, Christy's lost stuff. But, what have we lost, Christy? I've lost my yoga mattress. <laughs> Soft, squishy yoga mattress. Gone. Gone. Don't know where. In the last, somewhere in the last 30 k's. <laughs> <laughs> Be more than that, was it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Had to happen. I've lost my tarp, which I'm bloody gutted about. Christy's lost the mattress. Lost, lost shoes. Shoes. I'm sure you've lost other stuff. Yeah, I know. Oh, I lost my tin. Me, me, belly, me little foot thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my rock. My stand rock. So, Moral of the story is, don't tie shit onto the top like I have here, even, because it just works loose, doesn't it? It just works loose. Yep. And charge shit up. I didn't charge anything up last night. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's flat. And isn't it funny how my little nav thing, my phone is flat, so my little, my little arrow is not there, even though this is one road to Burke. I sort of like, uh, it just gets so reliant on technology. Mind you, we have paper maps if we need them. Alright, let's try and get there without losing anything else. Hello. Oh, oh, I've thought it too. Whoa. Just chuck it out. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go and if you hadn't stopped to photograph goats no <laughs> that's 
fatty. <laughs> oh, there you go. How tight are we tying this, Christy? It's it's tight. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost cut in half. <laughs> that lady's spewing now. She thought she had a nice yoga mat. <laughs> that is funny. Christy's got a little mattress back. I'm so happy. <laughs> so you get these gates. There are thousands of these little fellas. Oh, stall it again. Stop. That little fella would be nice in my curry. They can't get through this fence as good as the other one. That's the trouble. Pretty mastery. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be alright. Trying to bite the wire. Here they come. Oh, that's right. I've got enough. See you, goats. See you, mate. Go be free. What are we doing, Dan? <laughs> we're, we're letting the time pressures out. I just, we just. rather than sort of knife in. Mm. So unfortunately we probably won't have any spectacular crash footage. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. Uh, I have taken some photos of some pretty wiggly tracks where I nearly crashed. <laughs> uh, there is some controversy as to whether I removed footage or not. <laughs> I think I was framed. <laughs> Travelling through these parts, we can see this is how deep the water was. Over two metres in this section. It's crazy. It's crazy. We've seen markers on on trees, like you can see where the, the, the water's come up to on trees on the riverbank. But yeah, a lot of water. What is it like? It's beautiful here. We've got a grass campsite, as you can see. Wow! So, very nice. Uh, grass everywhere. Nice, mm. nice little place mm. to spend the night. Uh, is it expensive? Um, 37. 
That's, much, that's for a grass power. I'm going to give you about side. 30. All no, right, no, about 30 bucks. About 30. About, she charges a powered site, but then felt bad because we don't use power. We don't use any power. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been a little, it's been, been quite a good run in today. The dirt was easy. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> Let the air out of the tyres. Oh. Yeah, it's amazing the difference a little bit of air out of the tyres will do. Even on the gravel, wasn't it? That, that white gravelly stuff. Easy. Easy. Still slippery, but... We were sitting on 40. 40, all the way, virtually. And gravel didn't matter. Crazy. It's really cool. Anyway, this is a nice little campsite. Mitchell's Camps uh, Caravan Park, it's called. Recommend it. Burke looks a bit sad at the moment, though, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of uh, shops closed down. A lot of shops shut and boarded up, which is a bit of a pity. Um, anyway. We'll go back in, have a bit of a look around. Go in and spend, spend some money and keep the town alive. That's what we do.